Hello, my dear friends, and welcome to our Hurricanes Camp Report. Joe Zagacki alongside Don Bailey Jr. We are speaking to you today from the Carol Sofer Indoor Practice Facility. Coming up on our show, Aaron Feld, Head Strength and Conditioning Coordinator and Defensive Back DJ Ivy. Let's start with strength and conditioning. Mario Cristobal wants this to be a faster, tougher, stronger team. And he hired the right guy. And Coach Feld does a phenomenal job. He was with Coach Cristobal at, at Oregon. He brought a lot of that same philosophy here, and these young men are adapting to it, Joe, and we visually see it every single day, the improvement that's being made. On defense, the Hurricanes have an experienced secondary. DJ Ivey has played over 45 games in his career. Going into his fifth year, has done an outstanding job since he walked on this campus, works extremely hard, and is one of the leaders of this football team. Four career interceptions for DJ, hoping for a few more this year. As we continue on our show, coming up next, we'll talk with head strength and conditioning coordinator Aaron Fell. Welcome back to our Hurricanes Camp Report. Joe Zagacki with the University of Miami Head Strength and Conditioning Coordinator Aaron Feld. Coach, good to see you. Your thoughts on uh, training camp so far? I know this is kind of your baby because a lot of work was put in during the offseason. Are you seeing some of the rewards? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I think the biggest thing for these uh, young men is understanding that everything that we do in that weight room and everything that we've done leading up to this point is to get us to this point is to be a better football player. It's to play football. And so they're seeing themselves. It's not that you're necessarily make them a better football player on a given play, but you're allowing them to be that same great football player, play in, play out, day in, day out, every snap of every series, of every practice, of every game that they play. Like that's the goal. And they're starting to see that show up. You kind of have dual uh, things going on here in terms of the guys you are uh, training. You've got some bodies that you're making bigger. And then during the spring, you got some bodies that came in that were big. <laughs> yeah. Well. Uh, it's all, it's all the same. Like, yes, the science of nutrition um, is different for a weight gain, weight loss guy, but the work's the work. Getting stronger is getting stronger, regardless of whether you're gaining weight or losing weight. Uh, the nutritional requirements of gaining weight uh, and getting stronger are a little bit easier than the nutritional requirements of losing weight while you're trying to get stronger. Uh, and the vast majority of people that lose weight, they, they lose strength. We don't have the luxury of allowing that to happen. We try to minimize those strength losses um, when guys are losing weight. So it is a little bit of a juggling act, but um, when you have a fantastic uh, staff, our strength staff is phenomenal. Uh, you know, from Jeff Eaton, um, Vic Ishmael, who, who's been here for a long time, um, Rodney Prince, uh, Irvin Young, those four guys, uh, if we have to do different workout routines or different things, different groups doing different stuff, um, I, I trust that they can handle it regardless of what it is. But then on top of that, you have, uh, you know, an elite level nutrition staff uh, with our director, Megan Turcott, and our um, and our sports science director, Eric Renahan. Um, between all of these high end, high level professionals, it's really not that challenging uh, to, to specify, uh, you know, these guys need to do this, these guys need to do this, and these guys need to do this and make sure it gets administered properly. It, it's, it's the hardest part is putting the plans together in the offices for hours and hours and hours. The easy part's getting it done. Yeah, and for those that are coming into this program, this is not just about lifting weights, mm -hmm. right? This is a complete program on taking care of your body and your mind. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I mean, what's our goal? What's our purpose? What's, why do we do this? Uh, people ask all the time, like, you know, uh, why do we play football? Why, why does Miami football exist? And a lot of times, oh, to win games, win championships. And I'm like, I mean, yeah, we hope that happens, but like the purpose is to play great football, regardless of what we do day in, day out. It doesn't matter the opponent, doesn't matter what's a practice, walk through, whatever. Everything is about playing great football because what's the, the smallest unit of a championship uh, is, is a game. You got to win a game and then a game and then a game. You have to win games to win a championship. The best, the, the smallest unit of winning a game is playing great football, right? You have to be dominant one play at a time, be obsessive about the details of one play, win this play, want to know at this play as we move forward to be want to know at each, at each play of every series, of every drive, of every game. Coach Cristobal has talked a lot about mental toughness. You see positive steps in that direction for this team to be a mentally tough team. Um, absolutely. I mean, it, it comes down to clarity because let me do that. Well, what is mental toughness? I'm asking you. Mental over, over, overcoming adversity. A that's absolutely, together. absolutely something a mentally tough person does. But what is mental toughness? Can you define it? Not being denied 
I, 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 lo I love that. That's actually a real, but, but that gets closer to, no, that's great because it gets closer to the point of everybody, when you ask them what mental toughness is, will give you things a mentally tough person does. But if I want you to be mentally tough in an infinite number of situations, I have to teach you an infinite number of ways to be mentally tough in an infinite number of situations. But I, if I can effectively teach you the concept of what mental toughness truly is, then I can hold you accountable to being mentally tough no matter what that situation is. So for us, we, we give them clarity, fully defined. We define mental toughness as sustaining the highest level of focus, dedication, and performance throughout an entire competitive calendar. It requires three things being focused, all right? But we sustain that focus, all right, throughout the entire, at the highest level, throughout the entire competitive calendar. What is focus? We define focus. Being completely present where you are, subconscious and conscious mind in the same place. Dedication means wherever you are, whether it's a meeting, whether it's an interview after practice, whether it's a, a conditioning session or, or a class, right? And then performance, and this is the part that gets overlooked the most. If I wanna be mentally tough, I have to perform at my highest level every single time I step on, on the field. My best might not be good enough to win today. If I know for no matter what, no matter how hard I work today, I'm gonna to lose, am I still gonna give my best? If I know no matter what happens, I'm going to win today, am I still gonna give my best? And those are the two easiest versions because you have absolutes. But now you're going against a, an evenly matched opponent who's put as much time, effort, and energy into it as you have, and you have no idea. You could work as hard as humanly possible, give everything you got and still come up short. Are you still gonna play your best? Are you still gonna give your best? And that's what's required in all of those circumstances to give your best and perform at your highest level in that moment. That's a requirement of mental toughness. Yeah, my last would be on that would be be a great teammate. Absolutely. <laughs> you can't be mentally tough if you're a bad teammate just because you're tired. I'll tell you what's mentally tough is that mustache <laughs> has survived the humidity of South Florida. Man, this 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 mental tough or this this mustache uh, survived. You know, rainy rainy winters. It survived. Uh, you know, cold tanks. It survived it all. So it'll it'll outlive us all. Hey, qu uh, quickly, how about your 45 day challenge? Man, the 45 day challenge is do, is going really well this year. Um, we've been very fortunate. The last four four years combined, we've been able to donate over fifty thousand dollars to Special Olympics. Um, this year, we're on track to have our best year. Um, to to uh, I mean, we're we're well over twenty thousand and going strong. We still have a lot of days left of the 45 day challenge. The 45 day challenge is two two things raising awareness and money for Special Olympics, but it's also about uh, coming at people straight between the eyes about removing negativity from their day to day um, and, and finding a way to positively impact people around them. Uh, and it's 45 days straight. It takes, what, 21 days to build a habit, right? So this gives you two times, two cycles uh, plus to build great habits of, of being consistently doing something, uh, of consistently doing something physical, working out, whatever and day in, day out, finding a way to add positivity to somebody else's life by either removing negativity from your own life or by removing negativity from somebody else's life. Did I pass your mentally tough test? Absolutely, actually. You gotta be mentally tough in the broadcast. When, when you, so that you made the switch from <laughs> what mentally tough people do to conceptually like what might mental toughness actually be as a, as a definition, which is most people don't, don't make that switch. All right, thank you for being with hey. us. And when we come back, we'll talk defense. Don Bailey Jr. is joined by DJ Ivy right here on our Hurricanes Camp Report. To have a truly great career, you need to be with a great company. Now's your chance to go be great at AutoNation. Go to jobs.autonation.com for endless career opportunities. Work at America's largest and most admired automotive retailer that's driving towards $35 million donated to fight cancer. For industry-leading benefits and a great work experience, visit jobs.autonation.com now and go be great. Don Bailey with senior DJ Ivy and DJ, the time has flown by. Five years, yeah. pretty special time here at the University of Miami. Tell us what it's been like for you. Uh, it's been it's been a, a rocky road, but it's been a learning road. You know, um, five years it went by fast. <laughs> I feel like I've been here three years though, but um, it's been it's been a journey to meet new people, new faces, new coaches, new players. Uh, long time relationships with these players, so I I, I like it. It's been well. It was a great move for you staying home. You went to South Dade and you stayed here in South Florida and have got friends for life because you came to the U. Yeah, definitely. I, I feel like it's one of the best decisions I made. You know, um, family can always make it to their games and stuff like that. So that was most important for me, making sure my mom was able to 
be able to come to the games and watch me play. Tell us what it's like playing for Coach Steele. He's, he's been in this game a long, long time, a lot of experience, been in a bunch of different conferences, but I'm out there at practice watching. He's got intensity now. Yeah, yeah, he's very intense. So, you know, when working with Coach Steele, you got to be uh, very attentive to detail, um, make sure you're doing your assignment and know what you're doing because he'll get on you for sure. But, uh, you know, that's exactly what we need. You know, we need that in defensive room to have guys on us, hard coaching. So I think it, it'll pay off for us in the end. We talk to Coach Cristobal uh, every day for the most part, and, and he's always talking about physicality. Do you see this offense has become more physical since Coach Cristobal's gotten here? Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely. Uh, from the offensive line all the way to the receivers, you know. Um, seeing those guards pull, I mean, it's crazy, you know. So, so I, I got to actually, you know, step my physicality up as well. So um, he's, he's done a good job of approaching the physicality part and, and making an effort to get on us about it. The importance of practicing the entire practice almost every day out there on Green Tree, the heat and the intensity, mm -hmm. it's going to pay off come day NBA. Yeah, of course. You know, uh, we, we go. I feel like we go against the best people that we'll see all, all year. So um, going against those guys every day and get, getting us prepared for game one and even any game uh, will help out a lot. Last year, you, Miami had two outstanding receivers, right? They had Rambo, they had Harley. We're looking for those go-to guys this year. Is there great talent that receiver position? Uh, yes, there, there's more than enough talent that receiver. Um, I believe Tyler have more than one option to go to this year, so I look forward to seeing what, what they bring out. Well, DJ, we appreciate your time. Don Bailey with DJ Ivy. Thank you very much. Thank you. We're all button pushers, double tappers, swipers, and now used car buyers. Go to AutoNation.com today. You'll see thousands of one-price pre-owned vehicles online right now. All your favorite makes and models, all quality inspected, all priced to sell with no hassles. Plus, we'll even pay top dollar for your car. Go to the AutoNation store near you or AutoNation.com. What drives you drives us. AutoNation. All right, good to talk with Coach Felt and DJ Ivy. Hurricanes, I think, are going to be pretty good in the back end of their defense. That they are, Joe. They're getting a lot of great coaching. And then Kevin Steele, the defensive coordinator, has so much experience, and he blends that in with one-on-one -on -one coaching. You see him all over the field every single day at every position group, and it's paying off. All right, for Don Bailey Jr., I'm Joe Zagacki. Thanks so much for joining us here on our Hurricanes Camp Report.